Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Quick Plays. Okay, so a few episodes ago, we did Bionicle for the Game Boy Advance, and I mentioned that I got rid of our version of the GameCube Bionicle game. Well, I went back and got the game again, and now we're going to be playing it, because it's something that can't really be passed up on here, because it's... It's not a horrible game, but it's just... This is... It's one of the most generic platformer adventure action games. Every kind of game, apparently. It's really just... I guess the big thing about it is that it was a huge disappointment for me. Because like I said in the other video, back at the time, I was a Bionicle <coughs> fan. And when I got this game, uh, there were two games I got out that day that were pretty much new. This and Pikmin 2. I went and play, played this first. And I was incredibly disappointed. And then I went to Pikmin 2 and had a lot of fun. It just it was so disappointing compared to the other game I got that day. It was it really stuck in my head for some reason. It probably shouldn't have though. Okay, I don't remember how far into the game I was. Um, oh right, I stopped on this level because it was really annoying. Yeah, I don't have his level or his level. They all look like they're hunchbacks or his level. Okay, that's the first level, and the second level was the most memorable. We'll, I think we'll just do the first two. Well, we'll just peek into each of the levels. Okay, controls. Uh, <laughs> I wish I could show this control page. It shows a GameCube controller pointing to each of the buttons, saying which each of the buttons are. L button, R button, Z button, A button, and so on. Doesn't say what any of them do, it just says which each of the buttons are. <coughs> oh. Oh, the next page has the controls. That was useful. Oh yeah, these graphics. They look a little outdated because this is 2003. These look like gra graphics from the N64. <coughs> yeah, this is set around the time of the original Bionicle movie, The Mask of Light. Anyone who has not heard anything about Bionicle has no idea what I'm talking about. There's voice acting? Yeah. There's proper voice acting in this. That looks wow. incredibly stupid. I'm just surprised there's actual voice acting. That's kind of impressive, considering it's this game. Look at that wonderful jump animation. I jump before I even make the jump animation itself. Jump in the lava. Sure. Wow. Oof. <laughs> I explode into bricks. And then I take forever to respond. Okay, B is power up, and what? Okay, powered my sword up. Okay, X is the sword attack. Y does absolutely nothing. L and R don't seem to do anything except maybe go. Mm -hmm. So, what's the objective? Complete the level. <laughs> I, I guess you it's kind of. save those little guys. Well, yeah, there was that. Ooh, there's double jump. Okay, well, I saved one of them who... Did you see that animation in the corner? Yep. It was dancing incredibly fast. Okay, there's a double jump. That's good to know. There's Metroid Prime doors. Um, there's no... <coughs> oh, oh! L is move camera behind you, so it's really annoying when you're trying to figure out what it's doing. Okay. See, it's not horribly programmed, from what I'm seeing. But it's really generic and uninspired looking. Because everything here is just <coughs> black and red. And the and again, like I said, the graphics look straight out of 2000, uh, 2064 graphics. Except with a better frame rate. Okay. I can't attack? Why? They're about to die. I can't. Oh, he wasn't letting me move. Okay, I'm getting away from you. <laughs> if I start at the beginning... Okay, good. <laughs> He's going to be rather mad. Alright. Let's see if that charge actually stays. That falls again. Okay, cutscene, I've seen you once before. Oops. 
Oh, I should have jumped that. Now I'm learning. Let's power up, okay. I don't think that actually worked, but whatever. I'm not entirely bothered by that because this is by Uncle the Game. Oh, hey, there's another one of those dancing figures. Look at him. So happy. I wish there was a run button. If there is, I haven't found it. Why is attack X? I don't know. You think you're, I mean, A for jump I get, but why is attack X? Why, and now I'm not able to attack. Mm -hmm. The controls are not the best controls in the history of gaming. Let me destroy these guys so we get the annoying noise out of the way. Thank you. Oh, what's on the menu? Okay, that's just continue. Options. Is there anything on? Oh, audio. Um, yeah, it's a little hot in here and it's making us a little drip. Yes, I want mono sound. Yes, thank you. Let's have this in surround sound. Oh, wow. That's actually a lot better. Now this game is 10 out of a 10, 10, out of a 10 experience. A 10 out of 10 experience. I have to collect this very important collectible. Oh, there's another dancing guy. Oh, that's why you can't dash through these. These are loading zones. Okay, I'm able to shoot. What? Huh? What did I do? Going down. Okay, that that's a container, a canister, or whatever. But what did it do? Who, who came out of that? <sighs> oh, that wow. I tried tapping B to jump, but it's not B, it's A. Oh, these guys are back. Oh, why am I not able to attack? Oh, there's another one of these guys. Let's collect them and a dancing figure. Oh no, it's... The, uh, there's the main character of the Game Boy Advance game. Nice voice acting. <laughs> oh. Just go up here. What is up here? I'm starting to get bored already. Oh. Okay. Let's go back to the main menu and go to the other person's stage. Yes, I want to play the game. No, I don't want to continue. No, I don't want a new game. Let's continue game. Okay, I thought it would continue before what it was. This was the most interesting thing I've seen in the game because it's a complete departure of gameplay from the last stage. I'm chasing a bull right now. He's hitting the I'm chasing a bull right now. It's snowboarding! Press up and down to speed up or slow down. And that's about it. Problem is, you might have noticed it's, it's uh, look backwards snowboarding. Yeah. Where's that at the bottom right? I think that's supposed to be my health bar or something. Oh, now it's, now it's behind the shoulder. That's better. Otherwise, all the same controls. I could still use my sword to shoot beams of light instead of it, instead of slice people with it. Oh, now I have one thingy on the meter down there. Is it for the? Why well, does the snow make no noise? I don't know. It's completely silent. <laughs> well, as you can see, this was not a very well-designed game.
Okay, it's not my health meter. Yeah, it's, it's no, because I took damage and I took from my normal meter up at the top left. Oh, it's distant. Oh, okay, that would make some sense. Now the thing is, I remember this being incredibly difficult because there's, if I recall, a boss fight at the end of this, and you still keep all of your health from before. And I just kept dying at the boss fight because I'm not very good at the game. And this is also a very long section. <laughs> These sound effects are the best. Oh no. Yeah, I guess it really is a dis distance meter. <coughs> Let's grab some boosts. I tried jumping and I messed up. Oh, that's a friendly, I guess. Oh, whoops, that was an enemy. Oh no, I almost fell in that pit. Okay, we're getting close to the bottom, I might actually finish this. There's a seizure warning in the bottom right corner of the screen. <laughs> yes. Ooh, wow, that, that was a tricky turn. Okay, here's the boss fight. Against one of the Borok, which is these spinning things that fit into little tiny tubes, which is kind of cool. Uh, I was praising the voice acting first for existing, but now I'm sad that it does. <laughs> I actually like the design of the Borok. Oh good, it's more snowboarding. A rolling Borok is protected from attack. Activate your shield to knock the Borok into the air. Alright, that's actually helpful to know. Oh, this is why! You're now looking through his laser eyesight. For no reason, it's a first person shooter now. I mean, okay, I can respect the fact that they were trying to do a bunch of different play styles, but a snowboarding first person shooter section is not the place yeah. for it. Because I remember the third level is also a water level, so it's not even a repeat of the previous stuff. Come on, get a little closer. Wanna use the shield on him. Wait, why am I out of first person? <laughs> was it only because I was in a cave? Because I was in caves in the first section and I didn't go into first person. Come on, guy. I'm trying to get close to you, but nothing's happened. There we go! This stage is really weird, but it's not bad. Oh no, that was the jump button. I meant to hit the laser shield button. Laser shield. Uh oh! Oh, okay, I respond. This music is so generic. Come on, where are you? There he is. All the way down there. <coughs> Come on. I'm holding the stick forward to go as fast as I possibly can. Oh, wait! Is the reason I kept losing this because if he gets to the bottom, you lose automatically? I think so. Oh no. Can I shoot him to slow him down at least? I think that slowed him down? No, yeah. He hits the bottom and you lose. Even though you could have just fought him down here. Because everyone's safely out of the area already. But no, apparently Kopaka just gives up if the Borok reaches the bottom. Yeah. Okay, how do you even set that place on fire? On fire, it's smoke. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Q. 
Kopaka, where did you go? Yeah, that, that level... It would have been okay if it wasn't for the fact that you had to start over whenever you lose. Yeah. Okay, let's check out the last level that I have unlocked. Let's continue game. Golly's level. Which is taking forever to load. It's a water level. Oh wait, I stopped at the boss! Okay, oh. I forgot about that. I stopped at the boss. Um, what do I do? What do I do? I died. <laughs> They just told me I can't kill them with the glass when they're in this mode, but I, I, it's not letting me use my shield either very well. Because I'm tapping the shield button and nothing's happening. Well, he jumps out every now and then. Oh, that, did that, I think that hit him. Oh yeah, I did. I, did I die? die? You I got one of them, died. Alright, well, I... Okay, let's try it. It's not letting me shoot! It wasn't letting me shoot! Oh, what? I took all these hits at the very start. Did I die again? Yeah. Ah! Oh, dang it! Oh, now I have to dodge lasers too? What the hell? They're not skipping on the difficulty. That's a hard boss! Uh, one more time. Just one more time and then we'll just finish because this... What in the world? The corpse actually gets in your way. What the hell? That's annoying. What killed me? Yeah, there's a reason we I quit this game. What? Oh, you want to try it? Okay. I don't know the controls. Um, A is jump, B is charge shield, X is shoot. And L puts the camera behind your back. While he's doing that, I'm going to check the manual to see if it gives me any tips. Um, hold B to fully recharge your element. Oh, there's a special blast. If you hold B to fully recharge the energy gauge, then you immediately press the Y button. You let off a blast. Also, it says you have to tap your blast in time with uh, your movement. Uh, 
got two. You did how? This is your first time playing. How? Am I just that bad? Well, yes, I am. But what the hell? I got three. Ah! I hate you. This manual is lore on the series. I got four. What? Okay, I, I have to watch now. What? How are you getting all these kills? You've never played the game before. You're still at max health. I got five. What? How are you just that much better than me at this? What the hell? <laughs> I just went. Hi. <laughs> this is the farthest I've ever been in the game, and I didn't even do it. <laughs> Yay, level complete. I'm. What? I, I don't know which quest we see. I'm just gonna assume it's quest one. Okay, I'm gonna, let's, before we finish, I want to check out the next level, because I've never seen the next level. Oh, okay, well, we're automatically into it with our dancing guy. We don't know what, anything about this, though. Uh, let me quickly check the manual. Yeah, why is he doing that? Let me just quickly check the manual. This is Pohatu. Accelerate and slow down <coughs> is the only controls it gives. Thanks. Is he a runner? Oh, I guess he is. We just got an intro for no reason. It's voice acting. Fanning us off with the manual. I will run to Onuwahi and help. Find you. I will. Look, it's a dancing guy. I will rescue my young friend. Okay. And so he jumps, he he how jumps. You, how do you run? Um, <coughs> okay, well, there's this blast attack, which. Well, it's a slide. That's something. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Okay, this is exciting. I think we're almost done with the game. <laughs> Probably. Cutscenes. Well, and he's dead. We failed. <coughs> what? <laughs> okay. Sorry to drop in like this. Whoa. He doesn't even know what to do. Oh no. A, a minecart level? Where'd that come from? I wasn't expecting that! Why is it a barrel? Because it's donkey. Wait, look at the light on the front. It's literally a cone. Like, it's not even a it's light just... source, it's a big cone. Uh, wait, what is with the camera that we're seeing right here? <laughs> Was it the screen? Wh why? Yeah. So it's Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong. Yep. Why am I instantly twitching? I'm not even. I should question it. Okay. Oh, okay. I wasn't. I was supposed to jump. Oh, I pressed the jump button. In your right, it is, it? it is literally a cone. Oh, I could attack. How am I supposed to see what's coming up ahead of me? What was that? I didn't even hit anything. Unless it was that thing on the side, but I'm pretty sure I wasn't tilted that direction. Okay. Yeah, you did. That tilt. time was my fault, and I fall into the tracks. Do you want to have a try? Toy. 
fan you off. Okay, yeah, I'm supposed to attack those things. Alright. <laughs> Oh, you can jump. What? Yeah, you can jump. Whoa. Yeah, I, you, you died. I... Oh. Powahi stretches from the great slopes of Mount Ihu to the dusty deserts to the north. Patrolled by the uh, sure step of Pohatu Nuva, the Toa, the Toa Nuva of stone. With his incredible strength, Pohatu Nuva can easily fling boulders like pebbles. Taraga Onewa and the Vatorna Pokoro live happily among the spires. <laughs> These words... Why am I going so fast? If you hold forward, it makes you go faster. Oh. If you go backwards, it makes you go slower. That's the only tip it gives here. Wait. Okay, the next character, Onua, it says he, his dwelling is in mines. Then why are we doing mines with Pohatu? I don't know. Are we going to have two mine levels? Because that would be dumb. Are you sure this is not this is that guy? This is definitely Pohatu. I thought this was the last guy, though. Nope. There are six characters. This is the fourth character, and apparently you play as uh, Tahu twice. Oh. So there's going to be seven levels at least, and this is only. Do I get to play as a special guy? Special? Uh, oh, there, you might. You might. Since he's that, on the cover. I thought that's what this was all about. Yeah. I, I haven't played this game all the way through, in case you've forgotten. I just randomly die at one point. I don't know what I'm hitting. Okay, let me quickly look for a guide. We're getting close to 30 minutes, though, so we're going to have to call it at some yeah, point. I, I wasn't sure what that was I was hitting into. Yeah, I'm going to try to load up a guide. Mm -hmm. FAQs. Is there any way to change the camera? Buy on a goal. There's, like, no sound effects. Bionicle Heroes for GameCube, but that's not the right game here. Bionicle for GameCube. Apparently a short game. Metacritic score, 47 out of 100. Oh, okay. That sounds about right. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah, this is level 4 of 8. The 7th go is the final level. Um, well, yeah. Yeah, see, I just... Die. Um, after a while of riding, you'll find another switch to your right after some block crumbling your path. Uh, okay, you have to hit the switches, I think. Which switches? Yeah, after another statue ahead of you, you'll find a switch on your right side. Reach out and grab it. I don't know. It doesn't say how to grab it, it just says grab it. Yeah, the first part is a cart, uh, is a cart ride where you have to... Yeah, this it's a cart ride where you have to hit six switches, and if you don't hit the switches, you die, apparently. At least you apparently have infinite lives. Oh, those. Oh, good. Apparently, apparently in the next level, water kills you instantly. Oh, okay. And after that is a flying level. That's nice. Then a race, which I assume is over lava, because I remember there being a lava race in the new game. And then the final Toa against the final boss. Well, that'd be great if we could check them out, but, um... Yeah. I don't know what's going on. What did I hit? You did hit a switch earlier, but that, I think, the game just hates you. What? Yes, yeah, see, I... Yeah, what? Why did it kill... I just randomly died. I don't uh, understand. It's not saying anything here about the grand of death. It's just poorly programmed that I just dropped dead, or am I missing something? Yeah, it doesn't... What? Oh. If you die, you don't need to hit any switches you've already hit, it says. 
Oh, okay. it's just helpful to know. I I think my power is draining, and that's what it's was not wrong. saying anything about instant deaths. Yeah, my power on the left is draining. Is that the problem? Look, draining. Oh, well, now it's draining. Maybe it's broke. I have no idea. I see it's slowly going down. That is down. weird. But I don't know how to make it go up, so... Well, holding B does it for the other characters, but you can't move while you're doing it. Yeah, I'm losing power quickly. Um, that might be the problem. Yeah, it's my flashlight. Do those green orbs recharge it? What the hell? I don't know. That is so dumb. And the problem is when you restart it, none of those things come back. Let's only do one more try because it's this is running really long. Yeah, apparently it's my flashlight in the front. That is dumb. Hey look, no orbs are back so I can't collect them to get my power back. Oh, that one was there. No, I mean the, the white orbs that recharge. Oh, I thought the green thing. ones did. What are the, green, are the green ones health? Yeah. So th there's no white ones to get your power back. Oh, yeah, it does say. Don't let your power get. Yeah, grab green spears to, uh, spears to increase your energy. Oh, I guess they do work. Uh, is it coming out of the tunnels? I guess it is the green spears. Yeah, I think the white things are just collectibles. Before you even got into the map, they don't even bother to tell you that. Yeah, that is dumb, because I had to look up a strategy guide for it. The manual doesn't say anything about it. I just went right through that one. Yeah, what the heck. This game. Oh. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, those. Yeah, those help too, I guess. Let's see. Uh oh. Oh, I'm supposed to shoot those, but the other ones I'm not supposed to shoot. I don't. I don't understand. Because uh, the all the other obstacles in your path you were supposed to uh, yeah. just jump over. Uh, Why is this part of the game? I don't know. If I, I can guarantee you, if I had uh, actually beat that boss, I would have given up on this. Yep. And then it knocked you off the track what? completely. <laughs> Why does every game I play break? I don't... Uh, Now I have everything. Yeah, wait, why are you maxed out all of a sudden? This game makes zero sense. My energy's not even a problem anymore. Yeah, what in the world? Did you do anything different? Just collected a few of them, but... Not a lot. That is weird. That is so weird. That went right through me. Just because you're speed? Oh, that one you collected just fine. What the? Why? Why is it not collecting? Careful, the thing's just up ahead, the thing that you crashed into. Oh, I thought I thought something happened. Switches. It says if you don't get all the switches, it'll just bring you in a loop until you've got all of them. That's pretty stupid. Yeah. It doesn't instantly kill you, and at least it does keep the switches switched. So that's at least one good thing this game does.
What, what did I just pick up? Yeah, one switch left. Why am I slowing down? I can't speed up. Wait, Why so... Why were you able to hit that? So, I actually have to attack these things with the power, which uh, is draining if I don't. Yeah, that is really dumb. Okay. Yeah, there's... Well, there is no other way this game could have ended uh, than the game crashing. Uh, I'm done. I'm done. Oh, wow. I give up. I give up.